Hi guys and welcome back to another video. So today I've got 10 juggling exercises to help you improve your first touch. Now juggling isn't something you're gonna do on the pitch very often, but it's a great way to learn how the ball reacts of different parts of your body. No equipment needed, just a football. So let's get into the first exercise. So the first exercise is single leg juggles. And if you're brand new to juggling, this is a great place to start, learning how to juggle the ball with your dominant foot. So a few key tips here, you want to hit the underside of the ball so it pops directly up in the air. And you wanna use the top of the foot, typically where the laces would be on your football boots. Try to keep it hip height or below. You wanna keep in full control of that ball. So I'd recommend mastering the single leg juggle before taking on anything more advanced. The second exercise is toe juggles. So this time you're pretty much balancing on one foot the entire time and just balancing the ball on top of the toe. So it's the soft area at the bottom of the foot and you're gonna notice it feels a lot different than when you're juggling with your laces. It's a lot more cushioned and this is the area of the foot you're going to control the ball if it's high up in the air and you wanna get it on the ground quickly. With this one, I'd recommend having a slight bend in the knee of the foot you're standing on to help you with your balance, but really try to keep it at the bottom of the foot, making sure you're getting reps with both feet. Exercise three is very simple alternating juggles. So once you've mastered juggling the ball with each foot individually, see if you can go from one foot to the other with each touch. And again, you wanna try and keep the ball about waist height or below, and also hit right on the underside of that ball so it goes straight up in the air. You don't wanna be chasing around after the ball. Make sure you're keeping it under good, solid control. Exercise four is thigh juggles. So now we're keeping the ball up in the air, alternating between both thighs. And a key tip for this one is you wanna bend your knees 90 degrees and raise your legs so that your thighs are parallel with your hips because you wanna provide a nice flat surface on the underside of that ball so it pops directly up in the air. So as you can see, I'm raising my knees, my thighs are parallel with my hips and the ball goes directly up. Trying to minimize that spin so it doesn't get away from you, alternating between each thigh so you get an equal amount of reps on both sides. Exercise five is thigh foot juggles. So we're controlling the ball with the thigh once again, but this time we're gonna let it drop onto the foot of that same side. Then once we kick it up with the foot, we control it with the opposite thigh and do the exact same thing, getting in a rhythm, going back and forth. So this is gonna help you learn how to control the ball and get it on the ground from the thigh instead of popping it back up in the air. Exercise six is outside foot, laces, inside foot. So we're gonna take a touch with the outside of the foot, a touch with the laces, and then a touch with the inside of the foot. Then we're gonna do the exact same thing on the opposite side, but we go from inside of one foot to the inside of the other one. So just getting in a rhythm here, it's definitely gonna take some coordination and some practice to get this one correctly, but just practice each part of the foot individually. So get some juggles with the outside of the foot, learn to control it with the inside of the foot until you feel ready to combine all three together. Exercise seven is chest juggles. So for this one, I'd recommend doing a few juggles with your feet, kicking it up and then cushioning it with your chest and letting it drop down and continuing your juggle. So a key tip for controlling the ball with your chest, as you can see, I'm slightly leaning back. That just provides that cushion to control the ball so it doesn't bounce away from you. So slight lean back, control the ball and let it drop back down to your feet. Exercise eight is low high juggles. 
So for this one, we're varying the weight of our touch to learn how to control the ball from different heights. So we're gonna take one touch above head height, and then your next touch, I would recommend trying to keep it waist height or below, but anything below head height is absolutely fine. So make sure we're popping it above our head, then cushioning that touch, and then the next touch, we're putting a little bit more pressure on it to put it above head height once again. For this one, I'd recommend working on each foot individually. Go for as many reps as you need until you feel confident with it, and also make sure you get some with your non-dominant foot as well. Exercise nine is the Maradona seven. So this is an exercise inspired by Maradona's warm-up. You can see in a lot of videos, Maradona used to control the ball with all the different parts of the body just before the match to get in a rhythm, get confident on the ball and just enjoy himself. So the pattern is to juggle the ball with both feet, both thighs, both shoulders, and then finish with the head. Then you can either catch it or if you want even more of a challenge, go all the way back down the body. And exercise 10 is alternating counting juggles. So for this one, we're essentially just doing single leg juggles, but we're involving a pattern to make it even more challenging. So the pattern is we're gonna count all the way up to 10 juggles with both feet. So we start at one, going one touch with our right, one touch with our left, two touches with our right, two touches with our left, three touches with our right, three touches with our left, until we've gotten all the way up to 10 touches on both sides. So even though the action itself is very simple, just that added focus and concentration makes it a lot more challenging. And with this one you can modify, so if you want to start going up to five touches with each foot, feel free. And you can also add even more reps to it as well. So this is just a great way to take a very simple activity, get a lot of touches with a fun little challenge as well. So there we go guys, 10 exercises that you can do just using a football, using all the different parts of the body, learning how it reacts to improve your first touch. But if you did enjoy today's video, make sure you smash the like button, hit the subscribe button for weekly training videos, and I will see you guys in my next video. If you enjoyed today's training session and you want to take your first touch to the next level, check out Controller, my very own seven day first touch training program. The seven day program contains over 60 exercises to challenge your first touch in all different ways so you're more comfortable with your first touch. Check out the link in my description which will take you over to my website where you can get the program.